All right, so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit of detail painting. Now, as you saw before, I cut the lines on, on the uh, Mark 7 cod piece here. So um, as you can see here, I've actually added a little bit of paint inside here. And what I've done is used actual just uh, acrylic paint, um, black paint. So um, I'll be using a, a paintbrush and a slightly damp rag. So basically what you want to do is um, just kind of get a little bit of paint on the, the brush and brush it inside the, uh, the relief line there that was cut. Just kind of get it in as good as possible. We're looking to get the, that edge, that edge, and the bottom. So if you missed any of it, you kind of have to go back and just uh, fill it in. Pushing the paint down inside the, the gap there. And then you take your wet cloth and just wipe it off. Since it's a water-based paint, and the uh, the paint that I have on here is an auto paint, um, it'll stick, but it won't uh, won't affect when you're painting this with the auto paint. It just puts another layer of paint on top of it. So, as you can see there, there's got a little more definition now. Um, as that dries, it'll not so glossy, and because you can see right now, it's kind of a little bit. When it dries, it dries a little more, more like a mat or a flat. So, but as I said, basically you want to go through uh, one or two coats would be good, um, just to make sure you got good coverage. Now this is the battle damage corner. Um, basically, I didn't finish it all the way, so I'm going to leave the paint there. Come back over this side and paint some more. Get these crevices here. And then once again, just wipe it down with a wet rag. You might want to flip it a few times just to make sure that you get you're not respreading paint onto your piece as well. So, um, but so you can see there's more more detail there now, rather than just having a flat line. When it comes to that corner there where the battle damage was, it, it'll actually leave a black mark in there. Um, I'll hit it back up with a, or try and scrape as much of that out as I can, and I'll take some silver paint and get in there as well, and then put another coat of black on top just to make it look like it was battle damaged. So, let me flip this one more time. And there you got it. So that's a detailed line painted in. Um, and usually I like to do that on, on the helmet since any parts that's really got just some sort of inset in it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, once again, um, feel free to ask in the comments down below and or you can message me. Um, and if you guys want to see anything else done, uh, make sure you let me know. And I can tr probably do a video for you on that as well. So, all right. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and like this. Take care, guys.